Hi, baby. Hey. How you doing? Good. Jared is so excited to do this video. <laughs> this is a follow-up video to our open relationship. I'm gonna call this one, yo, questions on our open relationship. There is over 3,000 comments. And when you think about that, think about any relationship that you have with someone special to you and getting 3,000 opinions on that relationship. Um, Jared never read the comments, so you probably have 10 <laughs> maximum. No, I've read them. I've read them here and there. I just find it interesting how everyone has an opinion on it. And it's not, It's. I, I mean, you can have an opinion, title your opinion. I don't care about it. Mm. But when you start like making personal attacks. But like, I do feel a responsibility because there are not a lot of tools out there to listen to alternate styles of relationships. There's not a lot of people who are in them or we're talking about them. And I think for good reason, because when you talk about it, you get all those negative comments. Um, but so I, I feel a sense of responsibility to have this dialogue. Okay, so first question came from Twitter. It is from a girl named Ellen. And she says, why are you in an open relationship? I like the freedom. Mm -hmm. I enjoy the freedom, you know. Um, you know, it, not, it might not work for most people, but you know, I always get the craziest questions like, so you're okay if Shannon getting blown out by another dude? <laughs> and I'm like, obviously not. I'm not okay with that. But at the end of the day, like Shannon is a person, you know yeah. what I mean? She's not, I'm, I don't own her, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure you wouldn't like a woman putting it on me, you know what I'm saying? It's not It's not something that you would enjoy to yes. know, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like that's what people are, I think people are like, oh, well, you must just be in the swingers or you must be doing it. Like, no, no, I don't. We don't, we don't want to, to uh, our partner to go and you know have sex with other people, but we want that our partner to grow and be the best person that they can be. I will say this to answer this question because someone did say open relationships only work when people have a high sex drive. That is not the case, I think, for either one of us. Yeah. I both describe us as not high novelty seeking people and that doesn't just come with relationships. Like we're not the kind of people who have to go out constantly. Mm -hmm. We're not the kind of people who are like, we need a new restaurant, new things, we have to travel all the time. Mm -hmm. Like we're pretty content with ourselves and our tools and what we have and we enjoy new things, new people, but it's not like it's a, a drive every day. Mm -hmm. um, I am a sexually monogamous person because of the job that I do and how much I'm aware of what is out there and how hard it is to find a really good sexual partner. For me, I just don't have the drive mm -hmm. to have sex with other people. The trust that we built and how I know you take care of me, you know what works for me, it's just not a big drive of mine. And it never has been. Like, People always say that when they see someone, they're like, yo, like I, could, I wanna fuck that person. That never crosses my mind. What crosses my mind? I wanna make out with that person. I always want to make out with somebody. I want to kiss somebody. I never think, oh, I can't wait to feel like I just don't think that way. Um, so that's that's that. If Jared decides to have that experience, that's his decision, and I'm okay with that. Let's clarify this because I guess a lot of people had questions about how can it be an open relationship if nobody has ever tested it. The way that we even really came up on the term open relationship is that there was somebody in my life. So five years ago, I had an experience with somebody who that wasn't a sexual experience, but was just a deeply uh, emotional ex connection with this person who I perceived to be my soulmate or my ideal match. This is back in 2012 at this point. And I, that situation ended abruptly. And he moved on, I moved on, but I moved on to a not so great relationship. So as a result, in my mind, the legend of this person grew. And the idea that this person could save me from this misery that I was in grew in my mind. And I put out a video at the, in February of last year talking about this relationship. He reached out to me and was coming to LA. Yeah. And there was a lot of unanswered questions there. There was a lot of unresolved love, lingering feelings. And I had to ask Jared if it was okay for me to exercise the option to get to know that person again. Yeah. If you didn't give me the space to understand that relationship and why it didn't work five years ago and apply that to right now, I don't think that in this particular situation, it could have gone a different way and gone any better. And I don't want the, you know, what I like about this is that, if, you know, if I do have someone that sparks, you know, something different in me, I have somebody to go to and talk to. And and I know this too, like I could come and I could say, I want to experience this woman. She has the, the, the option to say, at least pick somebody that's going to further you. They don't pick a dud, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> people want to be in the dark. 
so much. The dark never helped nobody. If you want to be in an open relationship that's dark like that, then you probably shouldn't be in an open relationship. Whitney asks, do you have suggestions for trying to talk to your partner when you have already been in a long-term monogamous relationship, but you know you want something different? You said it. Talk to him. You know? Uh, is, is you just talk to him. And in, in, that, in that situation, it's going to be tough. Because you already built a normality and change. People don't like change. I think you have to depersonalize things. Um, you have to depersonalize a lot of things in life, but it's not like I'm saying you're not enough for me. You know uh, what I mean? People equate that. I don't understand how you even add those two up. I think that you want to make sure the person realizes the decision that you're making is not because of who they are, but because of who you are. Yeah. Because of how you best express love and feel loved, that this kind of relationship would suit you better and that you're willing to give that person the liberty in return. It has to be the equal yin and yang exchange. For example, even doing that, that full screen show, me going on 10 dates with 10 different dudes, I know that me taking that action, even though it's work related, will reflect what I have to in turn give you the space to do. And also know that you're not making this decision out of a place of insecurity, but out of a place of security and knowing yourself and knowing what works best for you. So at 623, which I don't remember the exact thing, but I'm kind of aware we can play it right now. If I find out about someone else via someone else, yeah. be that your phone, be that someone telling me something, that would be a deal breaker because I've given you every opportunity to be honest and to come to me. And if you still feel the need to sneak around, like you're just a shithead to me. If it's open, wouldn't it be all open? Why would you have to talk about it at all? If people get so hung up on, on labels, you know, you know, if you just take, remove the label, remove the open, you know, label on that and just look at it as a relationship, you know, it's just a non-traditional relationship. In a relationship, in a friendship, in a you know mother-son relationship, in a father-son relationship, there is things where you don't necessarily want to find out from somebody else. I'm, not, I'm going to the movies and I see Shannon with another dude at the movies. That's going to be awkward. If she comes and talks to me and says, "Hey, I'm going to go to the movies with X, Y, and Z," I'm not going to go down to the movies. I don't want to see that. Or I'm a, I'm a part of it. I can help her navigate through it. I can see what. Are the, what are the qualities that this guy has that I don't have? That everything's a learning process for everybody. I just say it's just it's just good to know. It's just good to have that open communication. I saying this to Jared. Jared puts out these videos that are short music videos, and I shot most of them. When I was away for Christmas break, he had his friend shoot one of them, and it came out. This is my favorite one, by the way. Yeah. Shout out to you, Stefan. That's my favorite. <laughs> That's my favorite. Same favorite no, one. No, you should see the raws. This is all over the place. Really? <laughs> yeah. I feel like he brought out like something special in you, like a comfort. Oh yeah, there was a little bit more comfort. Yeah. 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 No, it was great. It's my favorite one. Um, so my family, when he put that on Instagram, because they follow Jared, they were like, oh, he put out a new video. Who shot this one? Was another girl. I'm like, listen, people, the reason why I've chosen my relationship style is that this doesn't even have to be a conversation. I have so much trust in what we have because there are no hard red lines. There's nothing that he could do or feel or experience that's gonna be an automatic, well, fuck you, pack your shit, you're out the door. So for that reason, you should always come to me and talk to me. And I yeah. know that, so I don't worry about other women. I don't go through your phone because I know if there was something to talk about, we would have talked about it already. Yeah. Um, that trust is so important and crucial and what we've built is so important and crucial that if you broke that or if I broke that, it would be very difficult. Yeah, that, I mean, that, that's like what conversation we had last night. Another Twitter question, this one comes from Ray. She says, do you feel like this is the key to healthy relationships? Because it's a true way of practicing trust and freedom. There's no key. People are different. People are wired different. People have different experiences in life. People grow differently. People learn things differently. People experience things differently. It's like, it's like saying like, is enchiladas the perfect food? Some people don't like enchiladas. It's the perfect relationship for us. It might not be the perfect relationship for you. Or it might be. I don't know. That's for you to answer. Such a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie J. Walker says, what was the test you referred to that you took with Jared and you both wanted securely attached partners? And so in the info box below, I'll put this test. There's different styles of attachments. There's avoidantly attached. There's anxiously attached. Securely attached is when you have that trust that that person loves you and chooses you, and if you're, there's space between you, it's for good reason and trusting space. I gotta say too, like, I am so grateful you're not a texter. You have no idea 
I'm so grateful that you could go the whole day and just reconnecting at the end of the day. Because that has helped so much. That mm-hmm. helps so much. And then you connect when we need when we want to, you know what I'm saying? But I like that that we have that ability to have a life. You know what I mean? You know, to have you have a life, you know? So it's just cool. I like that. I like it too. This question I got the most. You're gonna hate it. You're already gonna dislike it. I know that. That's fine. Um, this is from Blue Black Purple. Also a cool name. An open relationship is still a friends with benefits. Calling it open is just a way not to call it what it really is, which is a friends with benefits situation. I got so many. Why don't you guys call it a friends with benefits? Why call it you- what you want to call it. You can call it whatever you want to call it. I don't care what you call it. Call it. Call it that. Whatever you want to call it. There is. We were in a friends with benefits relationship. We lived in separate apartments. We rarely went out together as friends. We did not introduce each other as partners. To me, at the end of the day, every relationship is a relationship. I am in relation to you guys. I say this all the time. We have a relationship. We have an open relationship, to be honest with you, because I see other people. That's why it's not a friends with benefits, because I had one, and I was clear about it, and it's not that anymore, and so I've chosen a new term. If you aren't happy with that, I'm really fucking sorry. Lola23, she says, so what happens if one of them finds someone they think is worth more than their secure relationship? If you find someone worth more than me, then I'm happy for you. I'll be hurt, but everything hurts in life, and sometimes you grow from that, and what you've already given me is, is enough, you know? And anything more that you give me is great. You know, so if you do find someone that's better than me, then it's, it's, I would be happy for you. That's not going to say, I'm not saying that in the sense of like, I won't be hurt. Of course I'll be hurt. Of course it would be devastating. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to hold you back. Mm -hmm. I had this quote that I was using a lot last year when I was doing that whole transition of my life. And it was, it's not fair, but fuck them. And then you adjusted that to me to, it is fair, but fuck them. Meaning that what you experience in the exchange of somebody is supposed to be enough. You don't owe someone tomorrow. You don't owe someone next year um, because what you have in that moment, you're supposed to be getting reciprocity from. So if you're in a relationship that ends abruptly and then you feel like, well, what the fuck? Because I didn't cash out. This isn't fair to me. That means that you didn't advocate for your needs in the moment. What we have is enough. So there is always going to be a fairness. If things transition and things end, I'm going to look back and say, it doesn't matter. It's not like I have to cash out of my investment. Yeah. I got what I wanted. I got the love. I got so much love. And it's it's not going to be like, I'm out. If, 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 if you're on someone else, it would be a transition to where I wouldn't be like, dead out for dead you know what i'm saying i don't i don't think you would no i think if you found something different it would be like okay cool I found something different let's transition let's figure this out how do we both be, you know part from this safely and i said that to you the other day because it's like jared's at this point in his career right now well first of all he just released it's called all the king's horses and it's been years in the making and it was if you haven't watched the video on our channel so we have our own channel um jared has videos with his friends i have videos with my friends sometimes we do videos together it's called the examined life where, um, but we did a video talking about his music journey i really um i believe i have a gift of seeing extraordinary people and when i very first connected with you, I knew there was something special about you. I knew that you were destined for greatness. I knew that your voice was powerful. And because I've known that at a really early stage on, I've had a lot of hand in helping you Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. investing time in you. And we were out filming one of your videos and I was like, man, part of this openness is an acceptance. You know, an acceptance that whatever, anything can and will happen. Yeah. That's life period, but like rules are a way of giving us comfort and security. But because it's open, I'm it's free and that's frightening. It would be hard to see you blossom and grow and become this massive person and star you're supposed to be and then get left behind. In all honesty, like, that's so out of my character. You know what I'm saying? Even if, even if we didn't work out relationally, I, I 100 believe like the amount of help that you've given me if I don't even foresee this happening but if we don't if we don't make it out at the end of the, at the end of the day you would be the reason I made it so I know that what I receive in this moment is enough from you I'm not being good to you because I'm like I know for a fact this is gonna be him in a few years so I'm gonna be good to him right now even though I don't want to because I can see in the future getting a payout I'm good to you right now because you're amazing to me. You know, I'm good to you right now and I devote myself to you because I feel that in return. And we talked about that uh, mutual being whippedness. Like a lot of times people may have the impression that 
One of us is whipped. Somebody's being played in this situation. Nobody's being played. All right, is it open? Hey, hey. Hey. We're just finishing a video. Come in. Oh, shit. Are you filming right now? Yeah. Oh, no, no. No, it's actually better this way. Hey. It's actually better this way. Hey. hey. Can we get to have a little cameo? Oh. Hey. Where's the camera? Where's the camera? Where's the Oh, they're everywhere. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, so What's this up, is lady? cute. Hi. I'm going to use your bathroom. I'm going to take a shit while you guys finish. <laughs> Bye. So we both have sex with Ari, for example. Yeah, all the time. And that's 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 awesome. what it is. All Every the time. Day. Look, I wanted big titties, and I never had them. <laughs> and um, as I got older, and I got like a lot more comfortable with my body, and like the muscle that I have and everything, and being like androgynous as well, like, Everything just worked. Like everything just started to work. Like the the way that I was set up, I looked down and I'm like, yeah, this makes sense now. So like as like my younger like 13 year old self, like I think she wanted to just look like everyone else. And now that I'm like the person that I am and like very comfortable with like who I am, it just everything when I look down just makes sense. This sick velvet. Uh, what is it? Do you want to film me? Yeah, yeah, that is fresh. Mm. You didn't feel her in a sexual way, though. You oh, pinched okay. her. It really wasn't that. No, I was. I, I thought she was having sex. She no, shit. Okay. I thought we were getting no, it in. No, I was that trying, just gave it away. No, I was trying to feel the uh, the the whole. Um, oh, now uh, I'm getting massage. This okay. is great. Yeah, see, I'm I got you. <laughs> this is nice. All right. Well, since I got tagged into the relationship, <laughs> hi guys. Hey. hey, hey. <laughs> is it really done? Now. No. I'm gonna take oh. a shit while you guys uh, handle handle the scanner. You're my. Probably one of my only friends who was like, thank you. Thank you for declaring open relationships as an option. Oh, yes. And thank you for putting it out there. Yeah. Um, you are single, but why does the idea work for you? Um, I just, monogamy always feels so constricting. And I feel like we all have this, like, this set of rules that we apply to relationships. That like the moment you say it's an open relationship, it's like, you can kind of create your own rules. Open relationships are kind of like on your own terms, right? Yeah. I don't know. I think that's that's why I like them. Mm -hmm. I love the term on your own terms. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm a good is. person. Like my desires are good and healthy. I don't wish malice for other people. Yeah. So you don't have to limit my terms in order for me to be a good person or partner. Like. Uh, I recently did a video, um, oh my god, actually. Shameless plug, though. <laughs> so, in the comments below, you'll see this link as well. Um, I recently did a video titled, Am I a Fuckboy? And, like, I haven't even talked about it at all. Like, the interesting thing is so many people were like, I thought you were so cool, I'm, ups I'm unsubscribing now because, like, you're obviously, you're playing people and all this stuff. I'm like, no. If the people I was intimate with were in this room right now, they'd be like, oh no, it's it's totally like open. It's totally honest. It's totally respectful. I like I think that that's always been my approach to things. And, and everyone has all these things that they attach to me, given the fact that I am not looking for a relationship, a monogamous one. I give everyone the chance to say, I'm not, you know, I'm not down. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, I still get ass, so I, I think it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's still getting ass. That never Hold changed. On. I'm gonna drop the mic. Right? <laughs> there we go. Nicely. Like, I'm not damaging I'm not my damaging very property. property. I'm gonna put this down slowly.